something to smile about. For the past week, girls from across the state have been coming to Bangor for a unique summer camp experience. Grace Bradley takes us to Hassan for more. Figure out the things that you love most and do those things. Since 2019, Educate Maine's Project Login has partnered with Girls Who Code to give girls a no-cost entry into tech. The piece that I really think that the girls like about Girls Who Code is they offer this sort of safe space to learn, to try, to fail, to troubleshoot. We wanted to support it because we really believe in getting technology in the hands of as many people as possible. And I think for girls especially, getting an opportunity to go to a camp, get hands on and kind of explore for the first time, maybe not the first time, but say, OK, this is something I could see myself yep. doing and this is something that I'm capable of doing, I think is really important. My school doesn't have a lot of quality classes like this, not a lot of good opportunities. So I wanted to take this opportunity to, since there was a grant, to come and do this. We only had like five or six girls, and that was pretty surprising to me because I thought we had like two or three. So I'm glad that there's like a lot of girls out there who wants to do computer science and code. We've made motion censored lights, we've made motion censored sounds, and right now we're making this thing that it's like a parking garage. The girls are able to take their computer coding and through wiring, bring their ideas from screen to life. While Girls Who Code creates a comfortable space for girls to learn and connect, the program also shows the tech opportunities right here in Maine. It's really important to sort of not only see and hear from women in tech, but also see the job environment. So that's why we added the field trip day component to the Girls Who Code camps, so that they can physically go and see people who do the job that they're interested in. Do you see yourself pursuing this as a career when you get older? Yes, I do. Definitely. Grace Bradley, WABI, TV5 News, Bangor.